Oh man, it's your boy Papa Duck. Man, listen, man. How many times I'm gonna say this, bro? These people don't want people that can use this. They want you to be as dumb as a box of rocks, bro. The more we rely on them, the more they control us. Why you think they try to get rid of the, the Native Indians? Anybody that lived off the land. Why? Because these people don't need them. These people get hurt. They don't run to the hospital like we do. You know what I'm saying? These people have natural herbs and they have, you know, uh, uh, cultural uh, remedies that they've been using forever. But we put all our trust in these hospitals. These people don't need their money. So therefore, they can't tax these people because they live off the land. They grow their own food. They ain't got to run to these grocery stores. They don't want people, indigenous people, or people that live off the land because they're self-sufficient. The shit they trying to run on us, it wouldn't work. They don't need money. You can't tax them. And if we saw that these people can thrive better than we, we can, what you think we'll do? If we really saw a group of people that lived off the land, where they don't need their technology, they grow their own food, they don't need their money, they don't need their hospitals, they don't need nothing from the MFs. We will see that and can see that, yes, we could compare our lives to theirs and say, man, you know what, man, these people over here dying from cancer, people dying from all type of stuff, people having to go to work, and, and these people using things off the land. And they don't have to stress and stress about bills. Like, what you think we're going to do? We're going to do the same damn thing. And they know that. They're not going to show us that. That's why I tell y'all, boy, you, you better redefine what you call life. You think because you got a, and this is no disrespect. I ain't even call out no certain type of car. Because I don't want people to feel like because they got that kind of car I'm talking about. Them. But I'm just saying, you think because you got a, a, a foreign or high-end car that costs a lot of money and this and that. Boy, they make us think that shit, bro. I'm going to tell you something, dog. When you done had money, lost it, had money, lost it, had money, you realize you become frugal. If I'm saying it right, you become frugal. Ain't that you cheap? You just you just you just you you spend differently, because the world will tell you, oh, this is how you should be. This is what you gotta drive. The women love men that drive this. The men love women that got this and that, bro. They tell us this shit through social media and everything else. But if you lived off the land, bro, when none of this stuff is it, it, it don't exist, how we supposed to live? You feel me? There's still native tribes that live this way. But we don't know nothing about them. <laughs> They're not going to show us that these people thriving way better than us. Even though we had the cars. Even though we had this, we had... Man, no people ain't got to worry about no going to no damn DMVs. No people ain't got to worry about <clears throat> paying bills. Keeping up with taxes. Paying tax. These people ain't got to worry about none of this. But you have to understand, bro. The more people that really understand how this world really works. Because I'm telling you, boy, 99... I ain't gonna say that much. I say 95% of the world don't have a clue of how it works. The things you think that go this way and go that way, they don't. They go the total opposite. You feel me? When you born, you got so many days to register your child. This is your child. When you have a child, you can't give up your placenta. Why do they want your placenta? Why do they tell you to cut the skin off when you have a boy, to cut the skin off the you-know-what? What do they do with it? They make cosmetic makeup and shit out of it. They make millions and billions of dollars off that skin and they call it another name. They don't call it when you get them circumcised. You know, you know what they call it? See, look, it's called the foreskin. The skin that covers the head glands of the penis. They try to get some fancy name like calamari, but we still know it's squid. Now check this out, they're gonna blow your mind. The foreskin is estimated that a single male's foreskin could be worth up to a hundred thousand. Now call your doctor back and tell his ass why he convinced you to cut the skin off your son. <laughs> and it's crazy that they're not going to tell you that. But they'll tell you, oh, take the skin. You really think God put extra skin on your you-know-what? And they tell you that, oh, it's it's for nothing? This shit don't make no sense. That's why they, even when they say, oh, you're supposed to take your tonsils off. Bro, God ain't put nothing on you that doesn't have a purpose. That shit don't make no sense. And they got us taking our kids, getting their skin and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they taking the skin and making millions and billions of dollars off of it. Especially blacks. Melanated skin. Bro, come on, bro. That's why I say we got to start using our common sense. That's all you got to use, common sense, bro.
Why they don't want you with your placenta? They got companies that the hospital, you you got to, you literally, I know some people that literally had to steal their placenta. And it's, it's their placenta. These hospitals will not give you, you give you your placenta. It's your placenta. Some people take make capsules out of it, make pills. It's a lot of stuff they do with them that make they make so much money off of. They put them in these banks. They call I forgot the name of them, but I've done a video on this a while back, man. It, it's like some type of DNA banks where they keep the placenta in these banks and they use them from all for all type of different things to make money off of. I keep telling y'all, bro. These these people really feel as though they own you, not just you. They own your mind, your body, and your soul. And I told you how. It's crazy. But you got to understand, this is the world we live in. You feel me? But think about that, what I just said. Man, I just want to drop that on y'all, bro. It's a lot of stuff I be want to say, but listen, man. Go look it up. Look it up for yourself. When they when they circumcise a, 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 a little, you know what I'm saying, you know what? What they do with the skin. What they do with the placenta. And also, like I told you, they do not want you to live off the land. Because if you did, the stuff that they're trying to implement to control us, it wouldn't work. Because you wouldn't need money. You wouldn't need grocery stores. You wouldn't need hospitals. You wouldn't need none of this stuff. Just as the native people did. And just as we did at one time. So with that being said, man, y'all listen, man. You know I love y'all, man. Like I tell y'all all the time, man. In order for you to be found, you must first be lost. And we got to do a better job than what we doing. But I'm glad we got channels like this to educate. So please, man, y'all like, comment, share, man. Put your, put, put however you feel on the bottom of this, man. We just here to learn from each other, okay? It's your boy Papa Duck. I love y'all. I'll holler at y'all on the next video, man. Peace. <laughs>